Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a system of partial differential equations. So we have partial u over partial x equals 3, and then partial u over partial y equals 6. And we're going to be looking for a function u that satisfies this equation. You can also say du over dx, but you got to remember that these are partial derivatives, which means we have a function u of two variables, so u can be written as u of x comma y, and when we say du over dx, it is considering y as a constant, okay? So, to be able to solve or find a function that satisfies the system, first we're going to go ahead and define another function. Let's call that function v. So let v of x comma y be 3x plus 6y. And there's a good reason behind this. You'll see in a little bit why that's my choice. And then we're going to go ahead based on v, and we already have the u that gave us this system. We're going to define another function, f, which is the difference between these two functions. In other words, f of x comma y will be defined as u of x comma y minus v of x comma y. And again, why is this important? You'll see in a little bit. Now, since we already know v of x, we can go ahead and substitute. So f of x comma y is going to be u of x comma y minus 3x minus 6y. Now, it's important because notice that 3x doesn't contain y and 6y doesn't contain x. You get the idea? So now we're going to go ahead and take the partial derivatives. If we do df over dx, again, these are partial derivatives. So you could say partial d over partial f over partial x or partial df over partial dx, whatever you want to call this. When we take the derivative with respect to x, first we're going to differentiate u. That's going to be du over dx. And then we're going to differentiate 3x, which is minus 3, but the derivative of y will be 0 because y does not contain x, and it's considered a constant with respect to x. Make sense? And then we're going to find df over dy. Similarly, we're going to do the du over dy first, and then minus 0, the derivative of x with respect to y is 0, minus the derivative of 6y is just going to be 6. Now, what does this mean? Good question. What is du over dx? We know that du over dx is given as 3, so this is 3 minus 3, which is 0, and du over dy is 6, so 6 minus 6, this is equal to 0 again. So we have the following. Let's go ahead and get rid of all these things and write the system this way. We now know that df over dx and df over dy are both 0. What does that mean? It means this function doesn't contain x, this function doesn't contain y, but it has to be a variable of, or it has to be a function of x and y, which means f is a constant, yay, because it doesn't contain neither of those variables, or either, whatever. So now, we know that f is a constant, what can we do with this? Well, we can kind of write this f as f of x comma y, as a constant, which is c in this case. And then since we already knew that f is equal to u minus this, so we had another equation, remember, that ties f and u and v together. So now we can go ahead and set u of x comma y minus 3x minus 6y equals f, which is a constant by this. And from here we can isolate u, right? So you're isolated u of x comma y equals 3x plus 6y plus c. So that will be the function that we are looking for. Now, if you go ahead and differentiate this, you're going to realize, uh-oh, we actually get the given system. But the thing about that is when you're given a system, you need to make sure your solution satisfies all equations in that system. And in this case, it does. By the way, couldn't we just solve it like, okay, this is supposed to be a 3x, it has to contain that, and then it has to contain 6y, and then uh, all of a sudden, you know, we just add the constant, right? 
We could do that, but I think this is kind of like a more systematic way to approach it. And where does V come from? If you look at the original system, you're going to realize, okay, I think that was a good choice. And there's no guarantee that you can find this directly. Sometimes maybe V, what if V didn't end up with a constant, right? The solution would be 3x plus 6y plus another function. Now, so here's one thing that's interesting about partial differential equations, which, is, uh, which are also called PDEs. The ordinary differential equations are like this, where you have the derivative like dy over dx, and you're given an equation, let's just say this is equal to 2x. And you know that from here, y equals x squared plus a constant, right? C is arbitrary, so it doesn't matter if you use the same variable. I mean, the letter. It's not a variable. I just said variable. But yeah. So knowing ordinary differential equations is definitely, definitely going to help you solve partial differential equations. Partial differential equations. Partial differential equations are much, much harder, and most of them are not even solvable. There's no closed form for those. They're super complicated. I mean, even the ordinary differential equations can be complicated, and think about, uh, you know, partial differential equations. But knowing the basics of ordinary differential equations might actually help you. For example, what if we had a problem like this? Let's say u is a function of x and y, and then we are given that this is equal to 2x. We could solve it using a similar idea. And that would look like this. U needs to be, first of all, we know that U needs to contain x squared because its derivative is 2x. But doesn't it also contain a constant like C or K, whatever? Yes, but the constant doesn't have to be a constant constant. It could also be a constant with respect to x, which is kind of like a function of y. So when you solve an equation like this, look at the counterpart. You have an ordinary differential equation that is similar to this, and the solutions are of course similar. But instead of constants with partial differential equations, you do use functions as constants because you could pretty much add any constant, any function of y. Of course, that, that means it doesn't contain x, but u equals x squared plus y is a solution as well as u equals x squared plus e to the power y plus ln y minus tangent y. I mean, you can add as many y's as you want and any type of function you want, as long as you stick to one variable, this will be a solution. And of course, u equals x squared is a good solution too. But if you're given initial conditions, then you'll have more information and it's gonna be a lot easier to solve. Make sense? So whenever you're given a problem like this, you can definitely go ahead and solve it. And I believe I made a system of equations with partial differential equations before and I'm planning to do more. Let me know what you think because this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and... Bye-bye.